सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रीस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशं शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनपुन ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवद्व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनौ सह वीरवाहै तेजस्वीतमस्तुमा धातुब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीवाख्यातमुच्य प्रकृति कृसमंतादीर्धातुब्रह्मात्मे नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडमुव्यक्त संभव विजिबल Yeah. Okay. So here, the everything should be done in moderation, uh, especially by a yogi who is trying to uh, withdraw from the sense organs and the vaya vastu, and he is meditating upon the atma tattva, and uh, therefore uh, the ahara, vihara, etc. All of these should be balanced. It should be done in moderation. That is said here. युक्ताहार विहार से युक्त चेष्ट से कर्म कर्मसु युक्त चेष्ट से युक्त स्वप्नाव बोध से एंड देयर बाय ही हैज मॉडरेशन इन स्लीप आल्सो इट इज नॉट दैट ही स्टेज अवे कंप्लीटली और स्लीप्स थ्रू द डे सो एवरीथिंग शुड बी डन इन मॉडरेशन योग होति दुखः एंड देयर बाय दैट योग दैट ही प्रैक्टिसेस दैट विल टेक अवे दुखः ऑल द सॉरो एंड फाइनली इन द एंड इट विल टेक द सॉरोस ऑफ द संसार संसार इट्स अ फिज सॉरो रिटेक अवे दैट अथ अदुना कदा युक्त भवति इत्युच्यते कदा युक्त भवति व्हेन विल ही रियल बी रियली बी एन अटेंड योगी व्हेन विल हैव अटेंड दैट योगी भाव व्हिच इज व्हेन विल हैव बी व्हेन विल ही बिकम अ मैच्योर योगी दैट इज सेड हियर व्हेन विल ही सक्सीड यदा विनयतन यदा विनयतन चित्तम आत्मनवावतिषते निस्पृह सर्व कामेभ्यो युक्त इत्युच्यते तदा सो तदा युक्त इति उच्यते कदा युक्त होति तदा सो व्हेन यदा चित्तम विनयतम भवति एंड आत्मनि एव अवतिषते दैट चित्त अंतकरण बिकम्स कंप्लीटली विशेषेण नियतम इट इज कंप्लीटली अंडर युअर से एंड देन आत्मनि एव अवतिषते सिंस यू हैव एन इन्फ्लुएंस ओवर युअर अंतकरण इट डज नॉट टेक यू फॉर अ राइड इट इज ड्रिवन बाय द बुद्धि व्हिच इज अंडर युअर कंट्रोल बुद्धि सारथी एंड देयर बाय आत्मनि एव अवतिषते दैट माइंड रिमेंस इन द आत्मतत्व does not go elsewhere atmani eva by eva kara it is said only there nowhere else that is the culmination of nididhyasana and then that yogi becomes yukta in the sense see yogi is yukta but in the right sense of the word it is only when he has attained the highest so nispraha and not only that he remains in the atma tattva but then Vasana is also not there. Therefore, nispraha, nispraha is craving. Cravings have gone away from him. Whatever craving was there earlier, uh, that has thinned down and finally gone away. There is no craving at all. There is no desire at all. Sarva kami bhya nispraha. He has withdrawn all the. Uh, he has withdrawn all the cravings from all sorts of desires. Not only. Uh, from papa karma uh, or uh, only from nishidha karma but also from the kama which is will give you punya that also he has withdrawn from and then neutral activities also preferably are 
except for those to maintain his own yoga practice everything to maintain your sharira need basis every every luxury becomes a need otherwise we start accumulating things first we say that i want this no i want this that want becomes a need and then the need expands to uh, to to cover completely uh, overlaps or uh, pervades through all the wants as need itself then we don't consider the want as a want we consider it as a need then some luxurious things also the we want those and then that also becomes a need in in the case of a yogi all needs become luxuries except for needs except for the basic necessities all wants also become luxuries and he avoids those thereby sarva kami bhyo nispruha yukta iti uchyate or yada uh, sarva kami bhyo chittam viniyatam also is possible nispruha is can stand individually sarva kami bhyo chittam viniyatam that is better i think let me just see if uh, uh, what bhashya kara does there with 18 बहुरी उच्य vinitam chittam so avatishtate is the verb avatishtate is a verb so the karma is in first case uh, sorry uh, karta is in first case it is kartari kartari prayoga avatishtate it is not karmani prayoga it is atmane atmane pad uses because you see there is no yak so we should keep on uh, recalling this otherwise avatishtate avatishtati uh, avatishtati cannot be maybe but uh, uh, that te when you see that ta atam j and thereby that atmane pad pratyay is but still y is not seen which is yak 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 is not seen then it is not uh, it is not a karmani prayoga it is a kartari prayoga therefore karta goes in first case and thereby chittam vinitam chittam uh, the, the chitta is completely under one's control and that is a karta these are the karta of the sentence atmani avatishtate then where 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 does it remain so avatishtate means it stays it remains where does it stay in atma atmani eva avatishtate nispruha sarva kami bhya panchami bahuvachana nispruha yuktah iti uchyate tada yuktah iti uchyate उच्यते one remain in atma tattva meaning one's uh, antakarana should remain in atma tattva but he should also be free from all kamas thereby vasana kshaya is indicated here then that will lead to manonasha as per the prakriya manonasha is the mind will no longer indulge into anything other than uh, nididhyasana on atma तस्य योगिनः समाहितं यत् चित्तं तस्य उपमा उच्यते व्हेन दिस योगी बिकम्स युक्तः देन व्हाट हैपेंस टू हिज चित्त हिज अंतकरण दैट 
becomes samahita. Samahita and chittam. It is completely focused on Atma Tattva. So that samahita focused yet chittam, that chitta which is completely focused now for this yogi or his yogi, yogi chitta, sammandha shakti yogi naha, yet chittam samahita bhavati tasya upama uchyate. Upama is uh, comparison. Uh, what is the comparison? What what is the comparison for this? Comparison is how do you explain the state of this chitta? What kind would his chitta be? What kind of his uh, mana would be of what kind? That is answered here with an example with a simile. What is the simile to this kind of a manaha? That is said for easier understanding. Yada dipo nivata stho ningate so pamaspruta yogi no yata chittasya yunjato yoga matmanaha Yada dipaha Deepaha is a lamp, lamp the, the flame of the lamp or lamp you can consider when you talk about the lamp you are basically talking about the lit lamp so thereby the, the flame of the lamp that Deepaha which shows light to others here that self effulgence of the Atma uh, is also uh, indicated there not uh, through the example why such examples you know the example also should give you um, some kind of a uh, some kind of additional uh, thinking it should it, it should trigger some additional thinking from the perspective of the exemplified also we'll see uh, in fact uh, some commentators when they look at the even the uh, sambodhana used by arjuna or by krishna to arjuna arjuna to krishna when some there are so many names krishna and arjuna have these names, why doesn't he always say, hey Arjuna, hey Arjuna, sometimes he say, hey Partha, uh, whereas, hey Tata, sometimes he say Tata, sometimes uh, Arjuna calls uh, Krishna as uh, Yogeshwara, so that you, actually Yogeshwara is uh, by uh, Sanjay, it is not a Sambhotra, but uh, there are various, hey Krishna he addresses sometimes, sometimes he addresses with his uh, Kula, so, all these have some meaning which are seen by, additional meaning which are seen by the Tika Karas. So, uh, we will see when uh, we come across uh, and uh, Sambodhana, we will see. So, similarly here, the example when it is used, it may trigger something. There are many examples possible, but a particular example can give you more than the, just the comparison there as to the state of the mind, but that deep also shows that the mind now is completely focused on the self-effulgent Atma Tattva. Yada Deepaha Nivatastha. Nivatastha is where the Vata is not there. Vata is wind. The, the Deepa which is uh, placed in such a place where the wind is not there, is not blowing so much, meaning uh, it, it, uh, it is not going to the, uh, it does not flicker. The Deepa is not flickery anymore. You see the lamp, it is just a still flame, you know. You don't see that the fire is burning the, uh, whatever fuel it is burning, thereby the fire that you are objectifying, you are seeing, that fire is not the same. It is, it appears continuous, it appears the same as though the fire is same, the flame is same, but really the, the flame is not the same. Similarly, the vritti that is happening in the mind of the Atma Tattva, the vritti may be different, but it appears to be still, it appears to be same uh, and it continues through and through. Nivatastha, so it is not flickery. The air which is the wind which is blowing is no longer distur disturbing it because the wind is not blowing so much. It is not blowing on the flame. Nivatasa, so the vata is gone away as the windless place. It's not windy anymore. There is air obviously because the oxygen is being consumed by the deep or it is the, the flame. It is like it is continuing to remain lit. But it is not flickery. That kind of a state would be of the mind which is now completely samahita focused on Atma Tattva. So, yada deepaha nivatastaha, uh, nivatastha, nivate tishtati, nivate pradeshe tishtati, deshe pradeshe uh, tishtati, iti nivatastha deepaha. 
that the na na ingate na ingate means na ingate it does not does not flicker sa asya upama smrta asya chittasya because here you see yat chittam samayam tasya chittasya upama ka what is the simile for this chitta which is uh, composed it is completely focused or we can say even tending to go into samadhi or even in samadhi to to that extent na ingate sa upama smruta that is called as uh, uh, that is considered as an example or a simile to the this mind this kind of a yogi's mind yoginah yata chittasya yunjatah yogam atmanah atmanah yogam yunjatah yada deepa nivatsa nengate sopmasra yoginah yata chittasya yunjatah yogam atmanah yogam yunjatah who is actually practicing this yoga uh, let me see what bhashyakara says there because see yunjata has been specifically used there so it's difficult to translate literally we have seen the to put them together as a verb see yatadipa deepa the pradeepah nivatastha nivate vata varjate deshe sita na ingate na chalati sa upama upamiyate anaya iti upama yogajnehi chitta prakara darshi vi smrta it is considered by those who know yoga shastra they consider this as a good simile to explain the state of the mind of a yogi योगिन यत चित्त संयत अंतकरण से बहुरी ऑब्वियस्ली योगी इट इज इन सामान यत चित्त अंतकरण इज इज कंट्रोल संयत अंतकरण से युंजत योगम अनुतिष्ठ सो सी यो युंजत फॉर अ पर्सन हू इज प्रैक्टिसिंग योग दिस योगी योगिन यत चित्त से हू इज हू इज प्रैक्टिसिंग योग हि मे बी ए योगी बट only when he is practicing that yoga as in he is in meditation that a anutishtatah yoga anutishtatah atmana samadhim anutishtatah ityartah so atmana so what is what is his yoga yoga is not on anything else it is on atma atmanah samadhim anutishtatah ityartah so atmanah yogam yunjata that's how uh, the connection would be and yogam yunjata see yoga yunjata is one who is practicing yoga yogam is also a karma to that so both put together we translated yogam yunjata one who is practicing yoga for uh, uh, atmanah yogam yunjata who is practicing uh, yoga and what is his subject matter what is the karma that is atma so is karmani shakti you can take it as karmani shakti there <laughs> yada deepah निवात नींगते डज नॉट मूव सा उपमा स्मृता योगिन यत चित्त आत्म योग युंजत um so i see it is very interesting you know uh, i mean just uh, uh, if you think about it the bhashya sangati says that yat chittam tasya upama tasya upama and if you look at it uh, here she is clarifying this upama is not for the yogi it is for the his chitta but at that stage when the mind is completely merged in the atma it is not really separate from atma that's where it gets its stillness and uh, uh, thereby it is not a simile for atma but then although it is a simile for the mind but that mind which has become as still as the atma so to say so something to think over so yada deepah nivatastah bhavati actually bhavati is not needed because nivatastha nivatastha is a upapada tatpurusha but still we we'll add bhavati or we can say san nivatastha san 
यदा दीप निवात न ईंगते सा सा उपमा स्मृता नाउ इफ आई से ऐसे सा आई टेक इट एस योगिन यथचित्त आत्मन योगम युंजत आत्मन योगम युंजत and take this here then see what is the anvaya yada deepa nivatastha san na ingate sa atmana yogam yunjataha upama smrta yata chitkasya yoginaha ओके आई थिंक आई मेस्ड अप समथिंग एवं ओके एवं इज हियर सो हियर यू लुक एट इट यदा दीप निवात सन न इंगते सा आत्मन योग युंजत योगिन यथचित्त उपमा स्मृता सो नाउ इट इज इट इज इट इज अमिली टू वॉट रियली इज इट फॉर दि योगी और दि योग योगी चित्त हियर इन दि इंट्रोडक्शन टू दि श्लोक भगवान भाष्यकार से इट इज अ उपमा फॉर दि चित्त नॉट रियली फॉर दि योगी वन हू इज प्रैक्टिसिंग दि योग फॉर हिम इट इज अ बिकॉज ही इज ऑलो स्टिल ही विल गेट कैरीड अवे only when the antakkarana goes carried away outside but since it is merged in the atma tattva it is focused on the atma tattva it is not carried away therefore he is also not carried away thereby upama for the chitta or for him is same that is what it means here evam ओके एवं योगाभ्यास बलाद एकाग्री भूतम निवात प्रदीप कल्पम सत सो दे कल्प प्रत्यय प्रत्यय विच इज एडेड टू शो सिमिलैरिटी इट इज नॉट रियली सिमिलैरिटी इट इज टू शो शो समथिंग क्लोज सो निवात प्रदीप कल्पम कंपेरेबल टू निवात प्रदीप दैट लैंप विच इज केप्ट इन अ विंडलेस प्लेस दैट कैंड ऑफ अ सिमिली इज गिवन टू हूम फॉर हूम एवं योगाभ्यास बलाद एकाग्री भूतम दट चित्त विच हेज बिकम विच हेज बिकम सिंग वन पॉइंटेड ड्यू टू वॉट रीजन योगाभ्यास बलाद योगाभ्यास बलाद मीन्स ड्यू टू दि स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दि रिपीटेशन ऑफ योग प्रैक्टिसिंग मेडिटेशन कंटिन्यूअसली और रिपीटेडली इन दैट मैनर इन विच एवर मैनर हेज बीन डिस्क्राइब द स्व ड्यू टू दैट पंचमी हेतो पंचमी एकाग्री भूतम दट माइंड विथ चित्तम दट चित्त विच हेल बिकम वन पॉइंटेड लाइक अ लैंप विच इज केप्ट इन अ विंडलेस प्लेस मीनिंग इट इज नॉट फ्लिकरी एनी मोर दैट कैंड ऑफ अ चित्त वॉट वॉट हैपन देर वॉट हैपन इन दैट स्टेट यत्रो परमते चित्तम निरुद्ध योग सेवया यत्र यत्रवात्मना पश्यन्नात्म तुष्यति व्हाट इज दैट स्टेट दैट स्टेट इज यत्र इन दैट स्टेट चित्तम निरुद्धम निरुद्धम चित्तम दैट चित्त विच हैज बिकम हैज अटेंड निरोध विच इज व्हाट योग चित्त वृत्ति निरोध योग सूत्र यू सी द योग सूत्र इज कवर्ड हियर बाय सेइंग दैट चित्त निरुद्धम चित्तम that chitta which does not have any vrittis any more it is completely resolved samadhi basically that is the definition of samadhi yoga chitta vritti nirod their yoga is samadhi that chit niruddham chittam yatra yoga sevaya uparamate it completely withdraws from everything else now the mind does not want to go out even it is so uh, so uh, pure and getting absorbed 
at that stage it does not want to even go out because vasana kshaya has happened there by yoga sevaya through the practice of yoga that chitta so here yoga is meditation and this chitta niruddham chitta is showing the that yoga which is the definition the yoga shastra samadhi yatra uparamate in that state yatra is in which state there is uparama there is uparati there is withdrawal of this mind completely from everything else and yatra ch eva indeed in which state atmana atmanam pashyan through the so atmana atmanam pashyan through atma you cannot see atma so one atma is antakarana the other atma is is the shuddha atma but it is not an object pashyan is pashyan eva pashyan meaning as though seeing as though seeing means the clarity is the way the way you have clarity when you see something you say this is pratyaksh i have saw it with my own eyes that kind of clarity is comparable here therefore pashyan has been used and atma is used grammatically as an object but really it is not an object because it is you you cannot objectify yourself there is a kartra karma dosha and here kartra karma virodha virodha dosha so atmana atmanam pashyan meaning through the antakarana through the buddhi one is understanding the atma tattva oneself as a tool one is using this and then the vritti is resolved into oneself but one knows the way one wakes up from deep sleep and knows that i was existent i was the same person who slept and i was existent one recalls by the happiness which is experienced in deep sleep similarly here then what happens he is in the samadhi avastha atmana atmanam pashyan atmani tushyati ananda swarupa atmani tushyati he remains completely happy in this atma he he, he, he does not need any other source to make him happy he is happy just by his own swarupa there is no vishaya needed for sukha anymore so yatra saptamya arthe taral den uparamate kartari prayoga chittam therefore first case niruddham chittam the mind which is completely withdrawn yoga sevaya do yoga seva yatra cha and where what happens atmana atmanam pashyan seeing shatranta pada atmani tushyati so it is not complete see the anvaya is not complete if you see yatra so yatra tadakim or tatkim so here you can say tatkim so you answer it by saying uh, tad yoga or tada yoga this this you that is called as yoga so you to add something to make it complete because what is he doing is that uh, when chitta chitta is of this nature then what that is yoga that is the culmination of yoga so you can add tada yoga syat or uh, yukta syat you can say yukta syat by bringing the this uh, yukta uh, yukta iti uchyate we can bring this itself as anuvrutti and say tada yukta iti uchyate so that's the uh, prachittam niruddha uh, yatra niruddhan chittam uparamate we can say niruddham uh, chittam niruddhan sat uparamate so that's better so being being withdrawn where it uh, being controlled it becomes Uh, withdrawn or we can say in the uh, niruddham in the sense completely so niruddha is uh, resolved by being resolved it completely withdraws it does not try to go out any more than yoga sevaya how yoga sevaya uparamate or yoga sevaya niruddham sat chittam yoga sevaya niruddham sat uparamate tatra yatra cha yatra cha eva yatra cha eva atmana atmanam pashyan atmani tushyati kah atmanam see if you take chitta as the karma uh, sorry karta as the karta in this sentence also then 
दिस आत्मना इज चित्तेन आत्मना थ्रू चित्ता ओनली आत्मा इज अंतकरण हियर और बुद्धि बट चित्ता एंड बुद्धि हियर आर सेम अंतकरण सो देर वाय आत्मना इधर यू से बुद्धि एंड देन से चित्ता इज द माइंड और बेटर स्टिल यत्र च एव आत्मना आत्मानम पश्यन कह सी द चित्ता के नॉट बुद्धि के नॉट सी रियली so it has to be a sentient entity who is a sentient entity there is not no one else other than the yogi so yatra cha eva atmana atmanam pashyan atmana is anta buddhya we can say buddhya buddhya anta karana or anta karana anta karanena karanena it is a karana buddhya atmanam pashyan Yogi, we can say Yogi, Yogi, Atmani Tushyati. And then what? Yatra, Yogi Atmani Tushyati. Tad Yoga Muchyate, we can say. Tad Yoga Muchyate or what else is possible? Let me see. If I made any notes there, <coughs> what other unway is possible? Yeah, tan yoga vidya. I had noted somewhere. So that is called. Like, so know that as yoga. So you can say tam yoga vidya or. Uh, तद योग हा सह योग विच्छते समथिंग यू कैन ऐड देयर टू मेक अनवेय कंप्लीट यत्र सो तद योगम विद्या सो यू कैन नॉट तद सॉरी तम योगम विद्या लेट इट बी नोन एस योगा और मे यू नो एस दैट इज व्हाट योगा इज ही एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाट दैट योगा इज तम योगम विद्या so perhaps this comes from the tika uh, somewhere in the tika to make the anvaya complete something has to be uh, added there so iti shesha tam yogam vidya iti shesha you can say kincha moreover what sukham atyantikam yat tad buddhi grahyam ati indriyam vetti atrna chai vayam stiti stitas chalati tatvatah so atyantikam sukham In that samadhi avastha, what happens? Atyantikam sukham yat, which is there. What kind of atma atma sukha is it? Buddhi grahyam. That sukha is objectifiable through. So it is anubha. Buddhi grahyam is there is anubha of sukha. Atyantika sukha and atyantika sukha shows that it is not some sukha which is vishaya janya. It is sukha of the nitya vastu which you are, and it's a sarupa which never goes and comes. But when you are merged in it, you will obviously the mind will experience, and the mind will have vritti which will experience. So buddhi grayam atindriyam, and this is beyond the sense organs that shows atindriyam shows that it is not that sukha which can be gained by the association of the indriya with vishaya. driven by raga dvesha raga kama so kama will lead the indriyas to go after a vishaya there is a vishaya sambandha once that vishaya is attained and so to say experience then the there is resolution of kama with respect to that particular object at that moment and then the sukha which is our swarupa sukha that manifests in the antakarana we ex- we have experience of sukha that sukha we wrongly attribute to vishaya to the object really it is swarupa sukha and that is clear in the samadhi avastha where atyantikam sukham sukham which is atindriyam which is beyond the sense organs it is not that sukha which is a part of sukha which you uh, experience your own sukha which manifests through resolution of the desire for a object when that object is attained so that is atindriya sukha it is atindriya and it is atyantika sukha uh, yat buddhi grayam which is objectifiable through the uh, 
the atma is not objectifiable but when the atma tattva is known then when the mind is resolved into that atma tattva that time there being no desire anything else just the atma and manas sanyoga is there there is no real sanyoga but vyavaharika drishtya then what happens is that when the, the only reflection that is there in the mind uh, which is completely shuddha now it is not uh, tainted by any karma that time what happens atma reflects there and atma's nature is uh, sukha therefore one has sukha anubhav it is not atma anubhava it is the reflected uh, sukha which is experienced but it is not janya through any vishaya because there is nothing else there you alone exist thereby it is thereby we we get a confirmation which otherwise we would have got in through example of shushupti through the deep sleep ex- sleep example we get the same idea but then if you are not convinced this is samadhi anubhava will tell you that the sukha is your nature yatra vetti so that atindriyam बुद्धि ग्रायम अतिंद्रियम आत्यंतिकम सुखम यत भवति यत्र वेत्ति इन विच स्टेट वन वेत्ति वन नोस दिस वन नोस दैट इट इज माय ओन स्वरूप एंड ही सो वेत्ति हियर इज नॉट रियली नोस व्हाट विल इट बी सुखम वेत्ति सो व्हेन यू नो सुखा यू आर सो दिस आल्सो शोस यू दैट अनुभव एंड ज्ञाना हैज नो डिफरेंस एट ऑल हियर सुखम वेत्ति मींस यत्ति यत्र आत्यंतिकम सुखम वेत्ति दैट मींस अनुभवति यत्र अनुभवति इत्यर्थ यत्र च एव अयम् स्थितः न चलति वेयर रिमेनिंग वेयर ही डज नॉट मूव एनी मोर यत्र च एव अयम् स्थितः न चलति तत्वतः न चलति तत्वतः यर इज पञ्चम्य अर्थे तसिल एंड देयर इट इज नॉट तृतीय अर्थे जनरली तत्वतः वी सी तृतीय अर्थे वेयर एडवर्बियल यूज इज देयर we say that in reality but here what is it from the tattva panchamy arthe tasi from the tattva when a person does not move from this tattva his own swarupa his own reality he does not move from there that state know that state as yoga so like earlier we have to say tam yogam vidya साइड अयम स्थितः चलति तत्वतः तत्वतः न चलति पंचम जस्ट सेकेंड लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन डू बेटर so yat is there mm-hmm. yeah we can do it this way so okay so yat yat sukham atyantikam sukham atyantikam buddhi grahyam buddhi grahyam atindriyam सुखम वेत्ति एंड देन वी कैन से यत्र च यत्र अयम स्थित न चलति तत्वतः न चलति तत्वतः न चलति ओके वेट अतिंद्रियम यद यत एंड तत इज बुद्धि ग्राह्यम जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट 
सुखम आत्यंतिकम यत तद यत आत्यंतिकम इति हन्ति सुखम the multiple ways to do it let's see uh, where should i put that yad atyantikam buddhigrahyam atindriyam sukham bhavati we can put this at on this side and say yad atyantikam buddhigrahyam atindriyam sukham and we can say yad sthitah tattvatah na chalagetra yogi sukham yatra chayam sthitah तत्व था न चलती मल्टीपल वेस यत्र वी मैव टू रीयूज देर सो यत आत्यंतिक बुद्धिग्राह्य अतिद्रिय सुखम होती ट्राय समथिंग सिंपलर अतिद्रिय सुखम होती ओके होती तत् यत् अतिद्रिय सुखम होती तद यत्र वेति एंड देन यत्र च एव अयम स्थित तत्वता न चलति तम योगम विद्या सो दैट शुड बी नोन एज योग दिस कैन बी सप्लाइड टू मेक दी अन्वे कंप्लीट सो विदाउट दी तत्व इट वुड हैव बीन राधर इजीयर फॉर एस बट यू हैव टू यूज ऑल दैट इज अवेलेबल देर so therefore this yat atyantikam buddhigrahyam atindriyam sukham all these will go in first case and tat is the objective complement to it tad yatra vetti tad yatra vetti tat sukham yatra vetti yatra cha eva ayam sthitah tattvatah na chalati tam yogam vidya that should be known as yoga yoga is that samadhi avastha there kincha moreover can just give me a moment so i can't see the time here yeah now it's better so sukham atyantikam yat buddhi grahyam and then somehow it is covering my clock i can't see the time what's the time yeah, yeah. kincha moreover yal labdha chaparam labham manyate nadikantatah yasmin sthito na dukhena guruna api vichalyate further yam labdha having attained which yoga cha aparam labham uh, adhikam ततः अधिकम न मन्यते हैविंग अटेन दिस योगा समाधि दि सुखा हियर यम लब्ध्वा च यम लब्ध्वा च अपरम समथिंग एल्स अपरम लाभम एनी अदर एनी अदर लाभ हैविंग गेन व्हिच एनी अदर गेन इज नॉट कंसीडर्ड एज सुपीरियर टू दिस गेन दिस इज द अल्टीमेट गेन देयर इज नथिंग बियॉन्ड दिस सो वन यम लब्ध्वा च अपरम लाभम ततः अधिकम न मन्यते कंपेयर टू दिस देर इज नथिंग मोर न मन्यते यस्मिन स्थित यस्मिन समाधु स्थित स्थित न दुखेन गुरुणा भी दुखेन न विचाल्यते एंड इट इज दैट स्टेट वेर वन इज नॉट मूव्ड बाय एनी काइंड ऑफ दुख सो ही इज कम आउट ऑफ दिस समाधि बट स्टिल दैट स्टेट इज स्टिल देर दैट स्टेट ऑफ mind becoming merged in that atma tattva always samahit always focused on the atma tattva is so much there it, that it carries to the other uh, to outside the samadhi avastha also at that point of time what happens 
गुरुणा अपनी दुखे न विचाल्यते यस्मिन स्थित ही इज नॉट मूव बाय एनी दुख दिस योगी इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय एनी दुख दट इज मीन विचाल्यते मीन ही इज नॉट मूव बाय एनी दुख बट मूव एज इन ही इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय एनी दुख बिकॉज ही इज अटेंड द हाइएस्ट नथिंग एल्स कैन ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट एनी एनीथिंग एल्स सो दैट वॉन्ट इज इट सेल्फ अ दुख डिजायरिंग समथिंग इज दुख रूप so it does not desire anything thereby also there is uh, any no other labha is greater than this therefore he does not desire for any other labha if he does not desire for any other labha he has no dukha so that's on one side on the other side circumstantially due to praradha some dukha is there but he is not affected by that so that is the general meaning of dukha and by the first half of the verse we can see that uh, adhikam na manyate तथा अधिक न मनते बियॉन्ड दिस ही डज नॉट कंसिडर समथिंग एज मोर मोर टू बी गेड एंड देयर बाय देर इज नो दुखा बाय बीइंग अ वांटिंग पर्सन वांटिंग समथिंग एल्स दैट दुखा इज आल्सो नॉट देयर इन लब्धा च अपरम समथिंग एल्स अपरम लाभम मन्यते कर्तरी और कर्मणी प्रयोग एनी आइडिया विच प्रयोग मन्यते ट्राइ दिस इज होमवर्क तथा यस्मिन स्थित न दुखेन गुरुणा अपनी दुखेन Here guru guru has a meaning of being heavy, so heavy dukkha. Guru is neuter here, not pulling a guru, not acharya. So here yam labdhva cha aparam labham tatha adikam na manyate tatha panchami arthe tasil dig yoga kind of. Labdhva cha aparam labham tatha अधिकम न मन्यते यस्मिन स्थित सन योगी योगी संयोगी गुरुणा गुरुणा दुखेन अपि और गुरुणा अभी दुखे न गुरुणा दुखे न अभी न विचाल्यते एंड लाइक अर्लियर यू कैन एड अ रिफ्रेन या तम योगम विद्या That's the anvay of twenty second shloka. Twenty third shloka introduction says yatro paramate ityarabhya. Starting from the twentieth shloka, yavad yavad bhi visheshan hi visheshtaha atma vastha visheshha yoga uktaha. Starting with the twentieth shloka, yatro paramate onwards, yavad bhi visheshan hi. विशिष्टा आत्मा अवस्था विशेषा योग उक्ता दट योग विच इज वॉट दट योग इज नॉट ऑन एनी अदर ऑब्जेक्ट बट इट्स ऑन आत्मतत्व दे योग इज ऑन आत्मतत्व देर बाय यावत भी विशेषण ही विशिष्ट इट इज क्वालिफाइड बाय विच एवर एडजेक्टिव दट योग आत्मावस्थित आत्मावस्था विशेष योग दट योग विच इज ऑन आत्मतत्व एंड इट इज क्वालिफाइड बाय विच इज डिस्क्रिप्शन हैज बीन गिवन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ योग इज दिस सो यत्र यत्र थ्रू यत्र यत्र यस्मिन योग अवस्थायां इन विच योग अवस्था ऑल ऑफ दिस द डिटेल्स आई हैव बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट यत्र एज इन 
Yasyam Yoga Avasthayam. Yasyam Yoga Avasthayam is Visheshanas are describing those things. Uh, de describing that Yoga Avastha. Tam Yogam Vidya. That's why we said Tam Yoga, Yogam Vidya by taking you from Yoga Uktaha. Yoga has been described here. Therefore, Tam Yogam Vidya. We have gone back and added to make the Anvaya complete there. And what is that Yoga? Tam Vidya. Uh, that is in the, that is, see, actually if you look at it, we can make a single Anvaya also. Here, technically we can make a single Anvaya by See, starting from uh, here, it is Anvaya is complete. Upama Smurta, that is the Upama. So, here the Anvaya is complete. But starting from 20th, what is it? Yatra, Yatra, again Yatra, Yatra. But Anvaya is not complete. We added the, uh, we borrowed it from the two shlokas later and made the Anvaya complete in that very shloka. But we can continue across shlokas and make a three shloka anvaya. So 20th, 21st we can just keep in hanging and then end the sentence by saying that tam yogam vidya with this uh, 20, 21, 22 and 23, four shlokas. Tam vidya. So tam vidya we have borrowed and added and made the anvaya complete there. So what Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, Atma Vastita Vishya Yoga Ukta, which yoga has been talked about with Vichar Visheshana. Uh, the, all the descriptions have been given for that yoga. Therefore, tam vidya, tam yogam vidya, tam vidya dukkha sanyoga, vyogam yoga sanyitam, sanishchayena yoktavyo yogo nirvinna chetasaha, uh, sorry, sanishchayena yoktavyo yogo nirvinna chetasa, chetasa, I said chetasaha, it is chetasa. So, tam vidya, Tam Yoga Sangeetam Vidya. So we can say Yoga Sangeetam Vidya or we have said Tam Yogam Vidya. Yogam Vidya and Yoga Sangeetam Vidya the same, same meaning. Meaning it is that which is called as Yoga. Yoga Sangeetam is that which is called as Yoga. Yogena Sangeetam. It is called with that name as Yoga. What is that? Tam Vidya. What is that? All that has been described in the last three shlokas. Those are the Visheshanas of or descriptions of this yoga avastha. Tam vidyat. And what is it? Dukkha sanyoga vyogam yogam vidyat. Dukkha sanyoga vyogam. The sanyoga with dukkha. Dukkha sanyoga vyogam. Vyoga is separation. Separation from what? From sanyoga. Separation from association with dukkha. So dukkhena sanyoga, dukkha sanyoga. And dukkha sanyoga vyogam. Vidya. So panchami is there. Tam dukkha tam yoga sangitam dukkha sangitam dukkha sangyoga vyogam yoga sangitam vidya. You should know that which takes you away from dukkha. And by being in atma, that itself gives you sukha. That is called as yoga. Sanishchena yokta vyaha yoga. That yoga should be, see, yoga yokta vya. How do you translate it literally? You cannot. This is the phrase in Sanskrit. Uh, sa. Yoga nishchena yoktavya. It should definitely be practiced. That yoga should definitely be practiced by who? Anirvanna chetasa. So yoga nirvanna chetasa is what? Anirvanna chetasa by someone who has uh, chetasa is uh, it would be uh, not by someone. It would be an instrument. So uh, yoga should be practiced through the through the mind which is free, free from dejection. So, uh, let me look up the uh, better meaning if I can find. Uh, uh, yeah, depression or, yeah, should be okay, I think that is okay. So, that uh, without dejection, it takes time, see, it, it takes time. People want results immediately. But yoga takes time. Jnana is easy, but Nididhyasana takes time. To be free from vasanas takes time. To be free from viparita bhavana takes time. We consider ourselves still as a limited and individual and thereby we facilitate the vasanas to manifest as karma and then karma as karma, karma with karma phala. It takes time to, for the jnana to settle and for us to 
change our ways. The earlier ways take a lot of time to change. It, that the, it has become a habit across several lives from beginningless time. It has ananta uh, janmas. It has become a habit to live in a particular way. Even in this life, we see it is very difficult to break our habits. So imagine how difficult it is to break the individuality, which is ajnana krita. Takes time. Therefore, he says, uh, by someone, anirvinna chetasa, through a mind which should not be depressed or dejected. It is taking time, it is not working. You should not do that. You should keep on uh, continuing dhyana with the focus and not get disturbed. So the mind should not be, so be free from, uh, through the mind which is free from disturbance. This is the general meaning here. And through that nishchayena yoktavya. Uh, nishchayena yoga yoktavya, that yoga should definitely be practiced by someone with a, with a, with determination. So with, through a mind which is not dejected means through determination it should definitely be practiced. Uh, what is that? Uh, that yoga is, that yoga samhitam, whatever has been described in the past three shlokas. Dukkha sanyoga vyavam would be Tritya tatpurusha I think and then Panchami tatpurusha which I explain and then it is Samanadi Kranam with Tam Yoga Yoga Sanyitam. Since it is Tanta, we can say Yogena Sanyitam. Tritya Chatpurusha. Saha Nichena Yokta Viha. Yoga Yokta Viha. This is neuter here, Anirvinda Chetasa. Tam Yoga Sangi Dukkha Tam Dukkha Sanyoga Vyogam Yoga Sanyitam Vidya or Dukkha Sanyoga Vyogam Tam whatever has been mentioned earlier Tam Yoga Sanyitam Vidya know that it is called as yoga saha and then saha nischa saha yoga nischa nischa yena yokta vya how this is this will become a karana to that karane tritya sa yoga ha anirvinna cheta sa nischa yena yokta vya that's the only way there Say Kincha, it is uh, going into uh, different set of shlokas. So we'll stop here and look at the rest in the next part. Huh? Shanti, shanti, shanti. Any questions? Which shloka was that? Kalyanji, it's difficult to see the screen and. Uh, with this new uh, application yatha instead of yada where which shloka yatha yada. Just yatha right yatha uh, yatha sa upama smrta yatha deepo nivata sa uh, I prefer the partha yada because yatha what happens is uh, yatha deepa then you need a tatha. So I, the partha yada is a better partha I think. Uh, what does Bhashyakara take that? I, you are talking about 19th right? Yatha deepa he takes yatha. So yada deepa yatha deepa. So both parthas exist perhaps or yatha has from the Bhashya has gone in See, Yada is the Mula, I think. Yatha is from the Bhashya. Somehow it have, has become a part of it, I do not know, because what Bhagavan Bhashyakara is saying that Yatha Deepaha Nivatastaha Na Ingate Sa Upama Upamayate. So it, it is possible that Yatha is a part of Veda. 
I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I feel Yada is a better part. Somehow uh, here also Yatha and uh, this is not making a good Anvaya in this Bhashya also. Let me look at the Gita, Gita Press. Okay, Yatha, it is Yatha in uh, Gita Press as well. So, Yatha, it is Yatha. Okay, so Yada may be a type here, I do not know. So, uh, since it is there, I left it like that. Yada, so we can mark as Yatha as well here. So you have to supply Tatha, but Tatha is not there. You have to understand as Yada, Yatha Deepa Nivatas, Yada Deepa Nivatas, Samingate Yada, Satmana Yatha. So Sa is in that sense, so Tatha, so Tatha, uh, tatha Sa. Atmanaha Yogam Yunjata. So we can say Yatha here. Yatha Yada. I'll keep both in case there is a Patha Vedas because uh, this may have this may be a typo or it may have a source in uh, some Patha. So I don't want to uh, just cancel it. So I'll leave it as Yada or Yatha. Assuming that it's a Patha Veda. Okay. Uh, So some questions. Yeah. Any questions? I can't see it. Yes, Am, did you have a question? Yes. Okay. Um, um, because you spoke about Samadhi, uh, is the uh, this is in Samadhi in context of Nidhyasana, is it uh, to be differentiated from Samadhi uh, where you have another object? I mean, for me, it's a theoretical question, but, uh, but is this Sukham uh, when he's talking about here, it has to be differentiated or, or is Samadhi Samadhi? This is Samadhi is Samadhi. It, de it depends on, see, in yoga also, uh, the yoga samadhi and uh, the samadhi, nature of samadhi is not different. What happens is that the object where you start the dharana, that is different. Mm. So those uh, in the in yoga shastra also, in uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutra, there are four chapters. So uh, uh, first is the uh, samadhi pada, sadhana pada, then uh, uh, vibhuti pada and then last is kaivalya pada. So Kaivalya is, is the culmination which is defined in the beginning by in the uh, Samadhi Pada by uh, definition the, the second sutra which says Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha and that Yoga uh, steps are given in the Sadhana Pada where in the second, second uh, chapter where you get the Ashtanga Yoga. In that Ashtanga Yoga the Dharana when it becomes Antaranga Sadhana after the uh, practice of all the Bhairanga Sadhanas, when you land into, when you withdraw and land into the last three, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, that Dharana, what should the, be the Dharana be on? Thereby, the result varies. The Samadhi does not vary, the nature of the Samadhi does not vary. Nature of the Samadhi means technically what Samadhi is, that is Chitta Vritti Nirodha. See now, Chitta Vritti Nirodha means there is no Vritti of any kind. Then what is happening? The Triputi is merged, the knower, the known object, the subject, object and the, the activity, the cognition, all three are merged into the object. All are merged into the object. Now when the object is something which is different from you, whether it is a Saguna Devata or whether it is 
for in the third pada there is a lot said about various siddhis so for some siddhi you the object of meditation is that particular whatever object is there you do the dharana dhyana samadhi which is called a sanyama together all three together now in for a vedanti or for even for a yogi the fourth pada is kaivalya and the sutrakara himself says that if you follow the third pada which will give you vibhuti vibhuti is these uh, siddhis if you focus on that the third pada which will give you siddhis those are placed right before kaivalya pada so that you get trapped in triggered by your vasanas if you want the siddhis then you will not get kaivalya but the nature of the samadhi on the siddhi is same meaning that it will always be chitta vritti niroda but since you have begun your journey into the samadhi through the dharana on that particular object then what you are merged in that that object which you are merged in is different now if the in the kaivalya kaivalya pada the object of meditation is atma if you meditate on atma then you merge in the atma meaning atma is you so you the subject object division when it is merged you are not merged into the object but that object being you you are merged into yourself meaning the antakarana is merged into yourself everything is merged into the atma tattva thereby the quality of uh, sukha which is manifest may be different but then the nature of samadhi is same different in the sense because what will finally in samadhi you know that you alone are there but since you have merged with the object of meditation the object if it is of a particular nature you will get that that particular siddhi and thereby uh, the uh, uh, sukha which is manifest since you are all alone and merged with something still the the uh, the sukha may vary but still the definition of samadhi is not different the way the samadhi works is not different and that is true even for a vedanta vedanta in vedanta also the samadhi may have a different name nirvikalpaka ityadi savikalpaka nirvikalpaka but the the way the mind works is the same the way the vrittis get resolved is same what it gets resolved into is same meaning the object of meditation and since uh, for a vedanta the object of meditation is the mahavakya which resolves into aikya the resolution is into your own tattva but unlike the yogi where he merges into a limited atma meaning that individualized atma we merge into the uh, the samadhi merge, merger is into the the whole it is into the brahmatma thereby the uh, uh, having that jnana uh, the person who comes out of samadhi is a different uh, he, he, the one who comes out of the samadhi for in the vedanta prakriya versus one who comes out of samadhi in the yoga prakriya there is a difference because uh, the vedantin went into the samadhi as a jnani he comes out of the samadhi as a jnani with anubhava whereas the other the yogi goes into the samadhi as an ajnani and comes out as an ajnani he remains limited because he is not considered himself considering himself as merged with the with ishwara he considers ishwara as separate so his meditation is on the on the individual atma that is the difference otherwise uh, the definition of samadhi same across uh, all sorts of samadhis okay anything else or is this clear i don't know whether you have, i have answered your question i'm a little uh, sleepy as well so let me see <laughs> i don't know whether i uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. point so so what you are essentially saying is that the the, the sukha the which uh, which they get in the samadhi is is qualified by the type of meditation they have taken up or the object of meditation they have taken up so in in uh, it's a little difficult to say that whether the sukha is qualified or not see since in both cases in uh, whether you are meditating on an object other than you or yourself in both cases the merger is you are merged right you are merged as in you have rather let me say the subject and object have become one including the cognition of the, of course 
so subject object have become one now whether the uh, since object is jada it cannot uh, change object is jada in the sense in the case of uh, where you are really objectifying something and then practicing samadhi on that or sanyama on that that time the object is jada you merge with it or that you become one with it it cannot gain anything from you what you are going to gain your mind in antakrana which is merged that is go- going to get some impressions from that that's what i'm saying that mm-hmm. sukha with sukha is due to your presence and because there is no desire for anything else but still in the bija avastha you want that object and you want that phala so that sukha will not be the same as the sukha for the uh, when the object of meditation is atma tattva okay so but we have to see it between the atma tattva or the mahavakya starting with mahavakya and then both becoming one the tatpada and tampada in cognition and then merging there you are merging with yourself meaning the antakarana is merging into something that you you already are you are sukha swarupa so there is only manifestation of that sukha sukha but in the case of the object where the object is different from you whatever the object's qualities are there those those are impressed on the mind okay it's it's sure. technical and then uh, there is there may be a lot of discussion on this but it's uh, i mean it's uh, it, it is not so important for our guru so uh, i mean you have that the verse also open uh, whether i had that uh, continuation of the same thing uh, here uh, in prashan atmani tushyati tushyati uh, here again the here you have said that atmana here is antakarana or buddhya so so this is actually the point of uh, uh, of realization uh, where there is more right this is uh, this is the let's see it is all uh, it is not uh, uh, you can take it at all levels as i said this sixth chapter can be treated at all levels you start with something and then uh, growing so see uh, meditation can also be practiced by someone who is not a jnani right so uh, it starts from there last time also answer answered that it is applicable to both ajnani as well as jnani but uh, what is the real meaning there it is it is targeted towards the jnani because here you look at it the yatra here you said the, uh, uh, this atmana atmanam what does bhagwan bhashyakara say yatra cheva yasmin cha kale in which at which in which time and in in which avastha atmana is what samadhi parishuddhena antakaranena through that mm-hmm. antakarana which is completely purified pari pari is there paritah shuddha paritah shuddha see chitta shuddhi in the initial stages it is just shuddhi of chitta but vasana kshaya has not happened samadhi parishuddhena antakarana means the vasanas are no longer manifesting in the antakarana the lesson over a period of time the samadhi creates a Uh, dharma mega it is said that it creates something called as dharma mega which counters the vasana there by vasana kshaya and then when vasana kshaya happens they don't manifest in a waking antakarana also there by samadhi parishuddhana shuddhena antakarana is the meaning of atmana there that is what i meant that the atma is through antakarana atmanam param chaitanyam so atma is what param chaitanya jyoti swarupam pashyan how how does it it is not jyoti swarup machine you will see a lamp or a kind of a flame it is not that right it is question is upalabhamana understanding that swe eva atmani tushyati tushtim bhajate one experiences one's own uh, swarup ananda because uh, when you are continuing to live in the body mind sense complex then even the jnani the jnani will have sukha that is called as jivan mukti the jivan mukti is ananda swarupa thereby the antakarana whatever antakarana is uh, has uh, whatever reflection it has it is just the reflection of uh, of atma because there is nothing else which is blocking it it is complete parishuddha why parishuddha because vasanas are not there thereby they are not manifesting kama 
that karma would be will will taint as though the mirror is tainted and the reflection is not clear thereby we do, cannot see the atma sukha which is always there but what happens here the atma sukha is manifest it is always manifest but then it is blocked due to our uh, raga dvesha ityadi which are due to our vasana now this vasana is going the, what else is left in the antakarana but for the atma swarupa to shine which is sukha swarupa thereby uh, atmani tushyati tushtim bhajate he partakes of that ananda that's all it is because there is nothing else there okay and this will okay. this, this is not like digital like it is uh, the way growing clarity is there similarly this uh, stay in the atma increases staying in one's own swarupa increases and thereby ananda also keeps on increasing and this is mostly in culmination possible for someone who has completely withdrawn from the society bhashyakara always hints that it is for the sanyasi mm-hmm. anything else so when when you when you use um, uh, the word buddhi or antakarnena we have to always think of it uh, with the example of the crystal reflecting the light of uh, any object in front of it you know, like you said uh, preferably mirror, uh, mirror i like the mirror example because in mirror you are looking at yourself in the crystal also what will happen see crystal reflecting the light the light is different the crystal is different and you are you are still the subject who is different instead of take, if you take the mirror example what do you see is you see, you see your reflection clearly it's better that way because atma ananda is your ananda that ananda which is reflecting there if you say something because there is parokshatvam when you say it, use an example you try to make it as aparoksha as possible so uh, you use your example you are reflected there basically the light is reflected your reflection in the mirror is a reflection of light basically right what because your eyes can see only light mm-hmm. but we will not go to the science aspect of it as because everything that you see is light but uh, the example if the mirror is shuddha then it is your reflection which you see and if the mirror is not clean still that your reflection that you see is hazy it, it is not clear and that's why the question here is the clarity with which you see is is compared it is not the objectified uh, you are not objectified the sukha which is reflected is object that can be objectified because antakarana can only uh, uh, know uh, it everything as a vritti and that vritti has to be objectifiable so when jnana happens also it is objectifiable ananda also is objectifiable it is not the uh, uh, the atma which is uh, objectified because atma cannot objectify itself Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. So I'll see you in the next part. Huh? Namaste. Namaste.